What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Wi-Fi 7 router from Orbi and it's their 970 series. They sent this over to me and it comes, the one they sent me anyway, comes with a router and one satellite. So it's a two pack. They also come with a three pack and these things are extremely expensive. Mine goes for over 1500 bucks. If you get the three pack, it's over 2200 bucks, which is sounding absolutely insane. But when you buy internet, you expect reliability, speeds, and ease of use if you have to go into the settings of the router. And this router does all three things 100%, for me anyway, perfect. Now this specific two pack will cover up to 6,000 feet inside and outside your home of square feet. You get 10 gig ethernet. You get speeds that are gonna be potentially 2.4X faster then Wi-Fi 6 and 6E because of the 320 megahertz channel that is on this Wi-Fi 7 router. Setup was really simple. Like literally what you see right here is exactly how you set it up and it took minutes to get the Orbi Wi-Fi 7 mesh system completely set up on my network. Now it does come with a year of Netgear Armor which is a protection service that kind of monitors your network. I personally turned it off. It felt a little bit too intrusive. So if you want to though, it can really protect your family's internet usage. For me, it was a little just too much. You'll also get a ethernet cable inside of the box. You get your two power cables that you use to hook up the router and the mesh satellite. Here's the back of the router on the left and then on the right you see the satellite and you get multiple ethernet ports on both. So if you need multiple ethernet ports, obviously you can probably want to use the the main mesh router um, and then if you need additional ones you always have the satellite. And then at the bottom of the router is where the QR code is and the name of your default network. Now I have to admit also at the time of making this video, I don't have any Wi-Fi 7 devices. I have all the latest phones, but none of them have Wi-Fi 7 just yet. So even though you're potentially buying a device that you don't have any Wi-Fi 7, it's always backwards compatible with all your other Wi-Fi devices, have them be smart devices or phones or tablets or computers, they will connect to this. And then the great thing is you're gonna get this built for the future. So when more Wi-Fi devices, Wi-Fi 7 devices enter your existence, have them be on the, the phones or the tablets or the computers, you're gonna be able to take advantage of that. But beyond that, like I, again, I don't have Wi-Fi 7 devices. My speeds have been amazing all throughout my house. I went from an Asus mesh router system and things were starting to drop off like my speakers for Sonos were disconnecting every other day and then I had certain smart devices that were giving me issues whether going offline and online and since I've been using this Orbi Wi-Fi 7 mesh system all of those things have been eliminated they've been fixed they've been great nothing has gone offline but then also my speeds have completely, completely increased crazy. Um, you know, where I was getting downstairs by the router, I was getting speeds that were on the old system on the Asus. You know, I'd get up to something six, 700 megabits per second. Now I'm literally getting about a gig, which is my internet. I get, I have fiber, I get one gig up, one gig down. And that's basically almost what I get on a Wi-Fi system right near the router. I wanna go a little bit further away. I'm getting speeds at six, 700 megabits. And then in those areas with the Asus, I was getting like three to 500, somewhere in that range. So speeds and reliability have been greatly improved with the Orbi Wi-Fi 7 mesh system. Now I just wanted to go through the app really quick on here. You can see, I see my system, I can tap on that, and it shows me how I have everything hooked up. I got the internet, and then it's hooked up to the Orbi Wi-Fi 7 main router, and then I have a satellite router uh, up in my office, it's actually behind me. And then beyond that, I can go into device manager and see which devices are connected. I currently have 106 devices connected. It says you can have up to 200. I assume it probably goes higher than that, but just to be forewarned, you can see you have security, which if you want to set that up, you have their uh, Netgear Armor. I told you I disabled it, but you do have it if you want to take more control over your network and block things. Uh, speeds, you can see I just did a speed directly on the router, which is going to give you, the, give you the best speeds before it shoots out to your other devices. You can see I got over a gig up and over a gig down on those speeds. You have parental controls, you have Wi-Fi analytics where you can scan and do that kind of thing. 
Uh, you have your network map, you have Wi-Fi settings, guest Wi-Fi, traffic meter. Uh, I've used uh, 3.3, 3, uh, 3 point, is that terabytes, I guess, because it's 3,000 gigabytes. So I've used a ton of data on this thing, and it's been, again, I've used it for over a month, very reliable, very fast. I game on this, so I'm gaming PlayStation uh, 5 and Xbox. Uh, Series X. I have my son on his tablet where he's gaming as well on Roblox and on uh, Fortnite and on Minecraft and have people streaming multiple televisions in 4K, downloading and uploading my videos to YouTube and all over the place. We're using a ton of data here at the house and it's been awesome. I'm so, again, I'm literally zero issues with this. The reliability, the speed, the ease of use, I'm so happy for it. And once I start getting Wi-Fi 7 enabled devices in the near future, I'll be able to continue that amazing speed and performance as I get them. So if you wanna pick it up, so it's linked down below, but then the other side of it, it is super expensive. And I can understand, you know, people don't wanna spend that much, but if you have it in your budget and you want a great router mesh system, pick this one, super, super dope one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.